Um, so with the, the Bretton Woods system being broken and traditionally infecting um, markets uh, in, in developing regions by you know the World Bank and then the IMF de deploying capital into these markets, say you know in parts of Asia, Africa, Latin America, how does Bitcoin expand and take advantage of um, these developing markets? How does it become a more used currency amongst a, a greater portion of the population without having macroeconomic and geopolitical policy dictating its ex expansion? That's a, that's a great question. Uh, the simple answer is was through the people in this room. And so the people who can code, um, uh, Bitcoin's user interfaces suck. Uh, some of the security implementations suck. The documentation sucks. And no one can use this yet unless they spend hours and hours and hours trying to understand this weird thing. In 1989 or 19, early 1990, I sent my first email, very first email. I connected over a modem to a remote account where I logged in to a Unix shell. I proceeded then to download, compile, and execute a mail program. I used that to compose an email message. I got the email address of another person who was on another continent. I sent them an email, and it was amazing. It was amazing. Thirty-six hours later, they received my message. <laughs> it only took about two hours of work. Um, from someone with, at that time, basic you know, Unix command line, C programming skills. Um, exactly 20 years later, my mom picked up the new iPad I sent her and went and sent me an email. That's the transition we have to make. Today, Bitcoin is like being thrown into the bowels of Unix, and nothing makes sense. And all of the words don't mean what they actually do. Um, and none of the interfaces are polished or usable. And you do something, and it does the exact opposite of what you expected. It's almost impossible for individuals to secure their own Bitcoin um, well, because it's bloody difficult, right? And we're seeing change. We're seeing new devices, new user interfaces. When I first joined Bitcoin, there was one wallet. We didn't even call it Core then. We just called it Bitcoin. Um, when we get to the point where my mom can use Bitcoin, we're beginning to win. And so that should be your goal if you're a developer, designer, a user interface designer, a documentation person. In the meantime, what we can do is we can help the people whose need is so high that they will take the tremendous leap of faith and the very difficult user experience leap to reach Bitcoin, because for them it is the matter of life and death. It affects their ability to generate wealth for their children, which means every single taxi driver you meet you ask them, how do you send money home, and how much does it cost you? And then you teach them about Bitcoin. Every single immigrant you meet, you teach them about Bitcoin. You help them set up a wallet, and you give them some Bitcoin. Because once enough people learn about that, the places where it is the biggest effort to use money... Venezuela, for example, today, Argentina, Kazakhstan, the Ukraine, increasingly Greece and Cyprus, where people are under currency controls, where they are under hyperinflation, um, or places where to wire money from an immigrant worker to their family costs 15%, 20%, Think about the power of sending your family 20% more every week. Um, by finding this crazy technology no one's ever heard of. You help those people. Everyone in this room is an ambassador for Bitcoin. And the way you are an ambassador for Bitcoin is by confounding the very message of the media. The media says that Bitcoin is only used by terrorists, pedophiles, drug dealers, and pornographers. By a show of hands, 
How many of you in this room are not one of those things? <laughs> when the media sells that message, and the average person goes out, and they meet someone, and they are a Bitcoin using dentist, or a Bitcoin using interior designer, or a Bitcoin using architect, or a Bitcoin using taxi driver, the person they meet goes, hang on a second, I thought you all were terrorists. Right? And you break that opinion. Also, they then go, wasn't Bitcoin dead like three months ago? <laughs> Wasn't the CEO arrested in Japan? I thought I read something about that. So, confound expectations, be an ambassador, teach people how to use it, give them a small amount of Bitcoin, don't explain, help them experience, and we move forward.